Hey everybody, what's up? This is Chris with Phone Arena and you're watching our Oppo N1 unboxing video. Right after the break I'll be showing you all there is to be found inside these two premium looking boxes and you can even catch a glimpse of the Oppo N1, so let's get right to it. Alright, so before I start rustling through the box I'm just going to say that it's not that often that we get something as nice looking as the box on the Oppo N1. Uh, Oppo definitely receives top marks with the presentation of this box and we're just hoping that uh, the Oppo N1 is as good as uh, as the box looks. Uh, speaking of which, there are actually two boxes. This, this smaller one, I'm going to talk about it a little bit later, so I'm going to put, right, put it right here. Until then, it's going to remain a little bit of a mystery. Uh, anyway, this is the giant Oppo N1 right here. And I'm saying giant because despite having a full HD screen, this is a 5.9 inch display you're looking at. This is a very big device. Think about the HC1 Max. Uh, it feels like it's about as big. I'm actually going to help you visually compare how big this phone is by comparing it with the Nexus 5 right here. This is a 5, uh, five inch uh, display right here and this is a 5.9 inch display here and you can see that the difference is humongous. Uh, but anyway, I'm not judging. There are definitely a lot of people that like this form factor uh, and I think those uh, those people are going to like the Oppo One very much, uh, N1 sorry, very much. Uh, this is a very nicely feeling device at least it feels very nice in my hand. I can definitely say that uh, Oppo has obviously used some very high quality materials with uh, the build uh, of the Oppo N1 and it really looks great. It really looks great. You can definitely see that this is a premium device. There is no, no doubt about it. Uh, but anyway, let's turn to the key features of this phone. Uh, the most important one uh, of which is the rotary camera right here. That's right, the Oppo N1 has a rotary camera. Uh, we haven't seen one of those in a very long time. Uh, as you can see, it has a dual LED flash. It's a 30 megapixel unit, by the way, so we're actually expecting some pretty great stuff from it. Uh, another key feature, so, uh, feature of the phone, uh, and I'm, I'm not sure you're going to be seeing this on the video, but you actually have a little area right here, uh, which Oppo calls the auto touch area. Uh, and based, essentially, it's a touch screen on the back of the phone, and I guess the idea is uh, to uh, use it whenever you're holding it like this, but I'm not sure how well that's going to work. Speaking of which, I'm just going to power the Oppo N1 uh, and test it out for you. Uh, until then, I'm just going to continue digging through the box of the Oppo N1. Right here we have a charger, it's a pretty standard charger, nothing fancy. And here we have a cable. For those of you that are wondering, this appears to be a USB 2.0 cable. Okay, so we have music, nice. Uh, anyway, moving on, we have a pair of weird looking uh, earphones and I'm saying that because as you can see uh, they're actually curved to the uh, to the side. I'm guessing the idea the, that Oppo has is uh, for these to fit nicely into your ear but uh, we're not going to know more until we test them out. They, they look very nice actually, uh, definitely uh, say premium but we're not going to know how well they perform until we test them out. Uh, anyway let's continue. Right here we, ha oh, okay. we have what looks to be a quick guide actually, I'm guessing. Okay, so before that you have the SIM, SIM tray ejector tool thingy uh, and underneath, yeah, it's the quick guide as you can see and this one is, this one is a quick guide in Russian. Uh, I'm not going to go through the quick, quick guide so don't worry guys. Uh, which gets me back, uh, which gets me back to the small, to the small box and you're probably wondering, oops, you're probably wondering what's this? Uh, this is uh, a, a Bluetooth accessory that comes with the N1 and as far as I know it has three main functions. It's kind of a, it's, it's, it's like a clicker, you can click it uh, and you pair it up with the Oppo N1 and what it does is first it, it can allow you to capture photos uh, via your uh, Oppo N1 from distance so it's like a remote of kind, uh, of sorts, sorry. Uh, the second one is uh, you can beep your phone in case you misplace it in the back of your couch for example so it will help you with that as well. Uh, and the last one is you can, as far as I know, you can program it uh, and whenever these two get separated by say 50 meters, uh, the, the accessory is going to start beeping. Uh, the idea, I guess, is to uh, prevent theft. So if you put this on your keychain, for example, every time that your phone gets too far from your uh, keychain, uh, it's going to start beeping and you're going to know that something is wrong or you're forgetting your phone. Uh, but anyway, let me just show you a quick glimpse of the Oppo N1 and test out the rear touch panel. Right off the bat I can tell that this is a very nice looking display actually. It's obviously not going to be as sharp as say the HTC One on paper but 
I don't think you're going to notice a difference unless you have a bionic eye or something. But anyway, let's try the rear touch panel. I'm having difficulties seeing, seeing where it is actually. Okay, so it's right here. Okay, you can scroll as you can see. I don't know how handy that's going to be. Uh, I don't know why you can just do this, but we're going to see how how many uses we find for the rear touch panel. Uh, and that's about it, folks. Uh, thank you for watching this unboxing of the Oppo N1. This was Chris with Phone Arena. Bye.